hello and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing hope you're well if you're new here thank you for subscribing and if you haven't please don't forget to do so so i recently went foraging for wild blackberries and i was glad i did if you want to go foraging for blackberries here are a few tips and advice number one wear a long sleeve top and boots to protect yourself two don't eat the berries until they are washed three Pick firm and plump looking berries. 4. Be mindful of stinging nettles. I was stung and it was quite painful. And 5. Try not to pick the berries that are close to the ground as animals such as rodents or dogs might have peed on them. So now I'm back home and look how much blackberries I got and the best thing is that they're free and I would say organic. I'm gonna tip the blackberries into a large container. Just look at those, all for free. I'm gonna add some salt to the berries, add a lot of water and leave the berries to soak in salt water for an hour. This process is to help eliminate any insects or worms that might be in the berries. I've given the berries a thorough rinse and here they are. Now let's go through the ingredients. I've got my wild blackberries, two glass jars, star anise, cinnamon sticks, juice of a lemon and brown sugar. Feel free to use any type of sugar and you can adjust the quantity of sugar to your liking. Now that I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to transfer the blackberries into a pan and turn on the cooker. Then I'll add the lemon juice. I'll throw in the star anise and cinnamon sticks and leave everything to start cooking. Now the berries are beginning to cook. I'll give it a stir and leave it to keep cooking on low heat. It's 7 minutes later and the jam seems to be coming along nicely. I'll leave the jam to keep cooking while I begin sterilizing the jars. I'm going to layer the bottom of the pan with a clean dish cloth so that the jars don't come in contact with direct heat from the bottom of the pan. I'll place the jars and lid in hot water using a tongue. I'm going to fill the pot with more water and make sure that the jars are fully submerged in the boiling water. I'll leave them to cook for 10 minutes. I'll let it come to a boil and take them out of the hot water. Now let's check on the jam. The water content has significantly reduced. I'll pick out the cinnamon sticks and star anise and leave the jam to keep cooking. Next, I'll add the sugar and stir it in. I'm using this amount of sugar because I want the jam to be tart and not too sweet. I'll leave the jam to cook for a couple of minutes and take it off the cooker. Next, I'll transfer the blackberry jam into the jars. Now that I'm done transferring the jam into the jars, I'll use a kitchen towel to wipe off the mess around the rim. As I have just sterilized the jar and lid, I'll be picking up the lid with a kitchen tongue and screw it on. If you want to preserve your jam for a prolonged period of time, you can put it in a water bath canner. But I'm going to skip that part because I'm sure that this jam will be consumed within a few weeks. Now that the jam has cooled down, I'm going to spread some of it on a piece of bread. Now let's open up the jam. Look at that consistency. 
Next, I'll spread the jam on this piece of bread. Just look at that color. And the great thing is that it's pectin free. Another great thing about this jam is that it's full of antioxidants, such as anthocyanins, which are responsible for the rich colors in several red, purple, and blue foods. This jam is also rich in vitamin C, as blackberries are a great source of vitamin C. Now, here is a closer look. One of the great things about this jam is that it can also be added to oatmeal, as you can see in this clip. Here, I prepared a bowl of oatmeal with chia seeds, grapes, and topped it with some peanut butter and added some of the jam. It was fantastic. It also goes well with overnight oats. Another point I forgot to mention is that this jam can last in the refrigerator for up to two months. So, I guess we've come to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to click the notification bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Take care. See you next time. Take care. Bye.